it feels good to beat them. You feel nervous when you're going up against them. I, 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 but it makes you feel good that you're there, just to be at that event, watching them. So I get slightly nervous every time I was doing effort because I want to. Because again, you can't kind of dominate a team down, and you want to do well. We were all just members of the club, lots of the other teams, they were like, people would train with other clubs external to their unis and perhaps come together for bucks, but we'd all just work together from the start, so we all felt like teammates. We'd built up to it for so long, it was a bit of an unknown as well that we were going and we knew what we had to do but I'd, we'd never been in that setting before. We spent so long building up to it and we were really confident that we had better skills than everyone else there. I put a lot of pressure on myself individually because it's one thing to mess up an individual event, but in a team event it's a whole different ball game because you don't want to let the team down. I joined the cycling team when I started university, which was nearly three years ago now. And I'd never ridden a track when I first joined the university cycling club. Running a cow shop is um, an amazing experience. Um, first place I, I rode on the track. Um, personally, I feel about cow shop, I absolutely love it. <laughs> the zone, I know it's only 140 meters. Um, I know it's in a dingy aircraft pack, but there's something about it. Like, I guess whenever you first ride the track, it's always going to be something special to you. Um, and so I absolutely love going there. Goosebumps thinking this is the first time on an indoor 250. Uh, although we'd ridden Bournemouth, which is 250, to be indoor, we then get that atmosphere of 
being somewhere where you're going to compete. When we went to um, Newport Velodrome, it's the first time I was in on the indoor 250 meter track. When we went to uh, London, that was again mad as well because obviously Newport, they've had great riders there and various national events there and stuff, but London something else. And then you walk in and up and just it's phenomenal again, like how bright it is and uh, all the seats around. I think when we got to London, there was a mix of excitement because we were at London also the fact that we knew now we were really going to be putting times down and looking at those times and realistically thinking is that going to be good enough or is it not? Uh, London Belladrome uh, was just amazing. Just the anticipation of all and the build up and then just finding it, being there and walking in and it was just, it's just the legacy of it and to think of all the people that have ridden on that track and then to be riding it and to to get to ride it on your own as well, it was just really, really cool and really special. Yeah, walked up, watched the other guys finish, and then they said that you can go up onto track now. And it was then that like, you walk onto the track, you realize, oh, no, I've actually got to do it. <laughs> it was quite weird. I remember clipping it and I was holding there saying, all right, this is going to hurt. And then suddenly it's like, oh, I'm actually doing this now. <laughs> it suddenly hit me about 10 seconds to go. <laughs>
to be taken, I think. And it was a way off, but it's not too far off, and we can do it if we're fitter. And if we have a good ride in the day, then definitely possible.